Okay. Perfect. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Power of Infrared, presented by Fit Body Wrap. I wanted to give you an idea of what we're going to be covering today. So the topics we'll be discussing, we're going to start by introducing ourselves, talk a little bit about Fit Body Wrap, why we're here talking to you today. Then we're going to go over what is infrared, what actually is the technology. Then we're going to cover all of the benefits, what does infrared actually do in the body. Then we're going to go over why this is all crucial to your success in your business, and then we're going to have some time for some Q&A. So throughout the presentation, please feel free to use the chat window to submit any questions that come up. Our goal here is to make sure that you leave knowing everything that there is to know and everything that you want to know about infrared. So please, please, please ask questions. So to give you a little bit of information on who we are, I'm Skylar Burnworth. I am the trainer here at Fit Body Wrap. So my responsibility is making sure that once a salon or spa has purchased a unit, that they are extremely successful with it. So I help from everything from um, developing pricing menus to marketing support um, to operations. Everything a spa or salon would need to know about using infrared technology, I help them with. Our other presenter today is Dr. Aaron Flickstein. He is our clinical director. Uh, he is a, the foremost expert on infrared technology. He's been working with infrared for years and years and is a great resource to us and um, the community in general in regards to infrared. Dr. Flickstein, do you want to say hello? Hello, and it's a pleasure to be here with you all. Thank you. So we wanted to give you a background on who we are as a company, Fit Body Wrap, um, so, so you understand why we're the ones talking to you today about infrared. So we are located in Poway, California, which is just in San Diego. We were founded in 2008. And the, the next bullet point that we were designed by business owners for business owners is extremely important to us. Um, our owners actually own a, ch a chain of salon and spas out here in California. So they saw the need for infrared technology to be used in their locations and the services that were out there that delivered infrared just weren't cutting it. So one of our owners is actually an engineer by trade. And so he saw that there was that he could design something um, that could offer infrared technology to his clients in a very seamless and um, a seamless way that would integrate into their business model. So after he developed the product, it was tested throughout all of their stores in California, all their locations. So we went through years of R&D before we actually put out the Fit Body Wrap system. So it's been tried and tested throughout all of their locations, and since we've moved into actually hundreds of locations throughout the world. So um, we have a huge following in the United States, a lot of providers, and then also in other countries as well. So by developing this product, um, our owners really had two goals in mind. They wanted to design a system that uh, was really beneficial for the customer, that provided the best customer experience, but also integrated into spas and salons seamlessly. They didn't want anything that was labor intensive. Um, there was just they wanted it to be perfectly that, that would perfectly fit into different spas and salons throughout the United States and the world for that fact. And then we have um, since we've brought on Dr. Aaron Fuchstein, who I said is our clinical director, and so he helps us with um, R&D, with product development, and making sure that our system delivers infrared in a way that um, is healthy and beneficial for our clients. So as you can see, we're extremely passionate about infrared technology, and so that's the whole goal of this presentation is to just get everyone um, understanding how the technology works and um, answer any questions you guys have. So the first thing we're going to go over here is what infrared actually is. So Dr. Fuchstein is going to cover the topic and kind of explain the science behind it. So Dr. Fuchstein, if you don't mind. 
Right. So we've all experienced infrared. All of our body heat is basically the type of radiation that's just like the stuff we see, except it's just a little bit longer in wavelength. The peaks between the waves are a little further apart. So we can't see infrared. We can feel it as heat. So every time you hug somebody, that feeling of warmth, that actually is the infrared. Premature babies in all the preemie wards are put in infrared heaters because it's the same kind of heat the body makes being put back into the body, and they can't generate enough of their own. So they either need mom wrapped around them, which is not working anymore, or they need to have infrared. So when you go outside and it's a beautiful sunny day and it feels so warm and luxurious and all of a sudden the cloud comes in front of the sun and the air temperature hasn't changed anything but you suddenly feel a chill, the reason is the cloud blocked the infrared and the sun's output is more than half in the infrared part of the spectrum, that part just below red that we can't see but we love to feel. So that's infrared in a nutshell. What it does is just amazing when it's delivered in enough intensity. So we go outside and we're warm enough, that's good. But when we get so much more infrared thrown into us than we can throw away, the body starts using its cooling mechanisms to deal with that, and the primary one is sweating. And so we sweat and we sweat. We sweat three to five times more than we would sweat even in a hot air sauna. So really a lot of sweat. Very good. Yeah, Dr. Fussman, do you want to cover also um, the safety aspect of it? That's one question that we get a lot is, is it actually safe? And talking about the different um, micron levels that we admit and that the system admits. Right. So our body is tuned to absorb infrared in a pretty narrow range from 8 to 14 microns. The atmosphere of Earth has a, a window to let infrared in, and it's in the 8 to 14 micron band. And that's what we feel as heat. So at any rate, this is as safe as it can get. This is the same heat our bodies make. When we burn energy, it's the same heat that the sun is sending to us, and these units are tuned to provide infrared in that magic window that penetrates into the body that we're designed to absorb very efficiently. Over 90% of the energy that hits the body is absorbed by the body. Exactly, yeah. So the big takeaway here is that infrared is extremely safe to use, like Dr. Flickstein said, it's um, used in NIC use with babies. Another fun fact with infrared is that even astronauts use it um, to stay conditioned when they're in space. So this is used in many different applications, and so it's been shown to be very safe and very effective. And maybe we should mention that the reason when NASA did research that they put infrared up with the astronauts is they were looking for an effective form for cardiovascular exercise. And without gravity, how do you generate resistance for running and things like that. So mm -hmm. they found out that just a half hour infrared application was equal to running a mile and a half so that people were able to get an effective cardiovascular workout laying down doing nothing, as would your clients when they were in the, the unit. Very good. So as Dr. Flickson and I have said, it covered, or infrared provides a huge range of benefits. Um, we're just going to focus on a, a handful of them today, um, and those benefits are detoxification, weight loss, skin rejuvenation, pain relief, and relaxation. So as you can see, these benefits fit perfectly into a spa environment. Um, so we're just going to give you all the details on how they work and why they're great for your clients. You know, one of the things, detoxification has become a much more popular topic than when I started looking at it in the late 1960s. Now it's on everybody's lips. But one of the things that's so interesting about infrared is, as we said, it makes you sweat with three to five times more sweat volume. But there's something very much more interesting about the sweat. This sweat is composed of about 15 to 20 percent solids, whereas normal sweat is only 3 percent, maybe up to 5 percent solids, and 95 percent to 97 percent water. The sweat that comes out of you in this unit is at most 85 percent water. 15 to 20 percent is fat, cholesterol, and dissolved toxins. As you may be aware, the body dissolves or dilutes toxins in fat when it can't get rid of them. 
So here, we're bypassing the liver and kidneys. We're not making the body get rid of this directly through those mechanisms, and we're getting the fat to come out directly through the skin with the heavy metals in it that only come out in sweat from people who train for marathons. So if we go to the gym, we have a nice hard half-hour workout. We're real sweaty. We got no heavy metals out of our body, zero. But this type of sweating gets it out, and it's very hard to get out, and everybody in the country has some. In fact, about 15% of the mercury that rains down on us comes from the coal being fired up in China, hits the West Coast pretty hard, gets even to Minneapolis pretty hard, and we all have to find a way to get this stuff back out of us. And this is an amazingly effective but pleasant way to do it. And if you've ever looked into detoxing heavy metals otherwise, doing it biochemically through the mouth, it's really involved and takes a lot of follow-through and a lot of willingness to swallow stuff maybe people don't want to. With this, they just get to lay down, take a nap, watch uh, TV or a movie, and just feel fabulous while it's happening. Very good. Dr. Flixen, do you want to talk about um, how the toxins actually is removed through the sweat glands, how, like, the water molecules and... Um... Well, basically, when you sweat whatever's coming out of there, you're getting either water or more. In this case, that 15 to 20% more that we're getting with the water is where the toxins are dissolved. So it, you may have cholesterol that's running too high. This will actually bring some out of your body. You may have, and everybody has dissolved um, both the aromatic hydrocarbons, pesticides, herbicides, things like that, as well as the heavy metals. That's all been stored up in our fats and also organic acids, which we didn't mention on this list, which are the result of just living a high stress lifestyle. And even those of us in the first world, America being the first world, that feel like we're pretty mellow, we're not. Uh, we're pretty stressed out as a group just because of dealing with the amount of change it takes to live in a first world country. Uh, there are diseases that occur only in first world countries and never in third world countries because we live in an ocean of stress, and this is a beautiful way to get some of the effects of that stress back out. Perfect. Yeah, this is really good for spa clients especially because um, there isn't anything that's going to detox them this way. So. Like the big fads right now are the detox drinks and the juicing and things like that. So this is a really passive way to get even better results. You're simply relaxing for an hour and in a spa environment. Um, so they're going to get amazing results and be able to be extremely relaxed all at the same time. So it's really important. So the next benefit we're going to have Dr. Flixen cover is weight loss. So, of course, uh, for Americans especially, we're carrying around a little more than we wish we were in 70% or more cases. And even the parts of us that aren't, quote, overweight, a lot of us are still pretty picky. That last two or three pounds, it's hard to get to. When you can actually melt fat, and this will bring our fat to the melting point at 100.5 degrees very easily, and then move fat directly out through your skin. And when you're sweating three to five times more, this is not a trivial volume of sweat and therefore not a small amount of fat. We're removing significant amounts of fat each time we get into the fit body wrap. So uh, that alone is great. One of the reasons we get fat in addition to consuming the wrong style of calories in the wrong way is that we get stressed out and our metabolism gets deranged so that we can't elevate it like we did when we were young teenagers to just burn away the excess. And we start to develop different kinds of metabolic disorders. A lot of testing mainly in Japan, Korea, and other countries found that they were able to reset people's metabolism with infrared applications like you get in a fit body wrap. And importantly, they were able to get cortisol, the stress hormone, to come way down towards healthier levels. So many of you have heard of the fight or flight stress response, and one of the results of which is the outside, the cortex of the adrenal glands makes more cortisol, which is anti-inflammatory, which is great in the short run and really bad in the long run. Good for, oh, I got a bruise, bad for, oh, I got a stressful life and a stressful job, and it makes us fat. Well, this helps to counter that mechanism also. So we're melting fat, we're pushing it out through the pores, we're resetting metabolic pathways, and we're getting the, the fight or flight response to calm back down. All good. 
Yeah, very good. And this is a really big um, benefit for your clients because everyone either wants to lose weight or knows someone else that does. So by offering this type of benefit to your clients, you're going to hit lots of different people and bring in people that you might not see on a daily basis, um, someone who doesn't frequent a spa or salon but is looking for that weight loss remedy. So by offering this, you'll be able to reach them as well. This is one of the biggest benefits that I see when I'm talking to spas and salons on a daily basis is their clients have amazing weight loss results. We have tons of testimonials talking about um, weight loss and all of the and then just feeling better after they've lost the weight because they're also detoxifying at the same time. So, if I could add, good. one of the uh, spa mm-hmm. owners that we have uh, who's got a blog post for Fit Body Wrap was talking to me about one of her success cases, a woman who needed to lose a very large amount of weight, and she hadn't been able to change her diet, she hadn't been able to get motivated to do exercise, and somehow she found her way into Kirsten's spa, she got into the Fit Body Wrap. She lost about 40 pounds in a month. But what was interesting is she still needed to lose a lot more weight, but she started to be motivated now with some success under her belt to change her diet. And that further motivated her enough to think maybe I could start exercising. And so she ended up doing all the diet change she needed and all the exercising she needed after this jump-started her in the beginning. And so many people get so discouraged when they don't get that fantastic change in that first month. So no matter what other thing they're doing for their weight or body composition, adding this in is just a beautiful addition. Exactly. Very good. So the next topic is skin rejuvenation, and this is one that definitely can be a helpful benefit in the spas and salons. So, Dr. Flickstein? Right. So as you can see from the graphic, we're getting a doubling of blood flow, more oxygen in, more waste products out, very easy for the cells to clean themselves and refresh themselves. But we get some skin rejuvenating effects. Infrared turns out to be able to help us produce elastin, which keeps the skin elastic, and collagen. So we all know about collagen injections. Everybody's heard about that now. Well, what if you could start making more of your own collagen? That would give you that younger-looking skin that people are you know, paying big money to get injected into them. You could just make your own. So in terms of delaying wrinkling or reducing wrinkling that's already occurred, more elastin and more collagen can get that job done. People also observe that they're, if they had some skin pigment irregularities, they're going to need a little less cover-up, maybe a lot less cover-up or foundation to make them look even as the skin pigmentation evens out. So more elastic skin that's more plumped and less wrinkled and stays younger longer, all good from the spa point of view and for the customer. Even if they came in for weight loss, if they end up looking better and have less weight, (laughs) nobody's going to complain about that. Exactly. So, And the good thing is that this is a great way to provide the skin rejuvenating benefits to someone who doesn't want to do injectables or um, or anything like that. If they don't like using different chemical peels, this is a completely safe and natural way to provide some amazing skin skin benefits. The next benefit we're going to go over is pain relief. So, Dr. Fuchstein? Well, this is the area that I've spent most of my practice career being involved with, and one of the reasons I got into it is I created a crazy pain situation in my own body that was sort of the worst possible case scenario, and I wasn't willing to accept living that way, so I had to keep looking for ways out. When I found out about infrared technology and started applying that to myself personally, I was quite blown away by what it was able to do. It was was rather shocking to have spent Oh, the last 15 years before my first infrared treatment in uh, a pretty severe high level of pain and to have it just knock down well more than half the pain the first time I was in it was just kind of off-putting at a certain level. I thought, this thing does an amazingly effective job. It's like perhaps it's even better than I am. And in fact, if you have the type of pain that will respond to infrared, which is almost all musculoskeletal pain, 
this will be a tremendous adjunct to any kind of body work, which you're already getting. So if you wanted body work but couldn't afford it, this may help be a way around it. But for clients or, uh, that are already getting body work, they're going to get much better results from their practitioner, whether it's a massage therapist, a chiropractor, an osteopath, a uh, Pilates instructor, whomever they may be working with to get uh, a more pain-free life. This is an amazing way to start down that path. And let's take the case of people who are in pretty bad shape uh, that have really severe chronic pain. Uh, they'll report as much as a, an average of 70% reduction in their overall body pain with their first visit. So in terms of being able to go, well, you think it's going to be helpful, they're going to have some noticeable shift. If theirs is the type of pain that's responsive, which most musculoskeletal pain is, they'll feel a shift after that very first time in your spa, and they'll they'll be very happy that that occurred, especially the ones in a lot of pain, and wondering why it works so well, but not caring all that much either, except when should I come back and how often can I do this, and this is fantastic, and will it last, and all the other questions that arise. And as you can see from the graphic, if you do a soothe and irritated nerve, and you could get that soothingness to be an ongoing experience, then at some point in time, they're going to be in less pain and need to use the spa less often, but that will take a while. So you'll probably want them on a program where they're in for 10 or 12 visits initially, and then rating their pain situation to see how, prog how much progress they have made and how much more they would like to make. Uh, selling them in groups like that is much better than just counting on one visit to hit the hardest cases. You want to have a lot of exposures in that package plan so that they're sure to get enough of a result that they can brag about it, which, of course, does wonders for the business. But we get many different mechanisms of action that all simultaneously conspire to never be able to cause us harm, which is always nice to know. First, do no harm. It can't hurt you. But the chances that it's going to help you are at least 70% in terms of pain control. It's really fantastic. And for athletes especially that are going to be competitive athletes, a way to get as warmed up as they possibly could before a competitive event would be to schedule a session in your spa before their event. So they're going to do a 5K or a triathlon. I don't care what it is. If they could come in from your spa, go to their event, having been saturated for an hour, their tissues are warm to the bone, literally, and they are much less likely to harm themselves, and they'll feel much better after their event than they otherwise would have, too. Very good. Yeah, from talking to spa owners on a daily basis, the, the big um, benefits that we see are pe for people with, like, arthritis, fibromyalgia, um, and then overall muscle aches and pains. We've actually, Dr. Flickstein and I worked a trade show together uh, a few months back, and it was a chiropractic trade show, actually, and we had a lot of people that were a little skeptical about it, but after being in the unit, they were experiencing significant reductions in pain, even being on the trade show floor. Yeah, there was so, one interesting young chiropractor who had a chronic wrist problem he and his colleagues had been working on and using all the techniques that they had available to them with very little change at all. And he got in there, and he was just sitting in there resting, chatting with us, talking. And after about a half hour, he took his hand out and started moving his wrist around, going, oh, my God, it's not there. That's amazing. So here he was, uh, you know, justifiably skeptical with all that work and no result. And a half hour later, it's just not there. It was pretty spectacular. Exactly. Yeah, that was a, a great experience and glad that we could provide some pain relief for him, too. So along with pain relief, the thigh body wrap and infrared in general provides amazing relaxation benefits. Well, one nice thing is when you're in this, you're laying down. Uh, maybe sitting up at most, you know, depending on the type of massage table. If you're wanting a treatment that's just, I want to take a nap, you're laying fully down. If you're in a room where there's a screen, maybe you're watching that or listening to music. But being able to lay down is great. There are other infrared type of therapies. I see a question here about that where you you would sit up, and that's just not as relaxing as being able to lay down. So that's one wonderful thing about this. Another wonderful thing is you're relaxing, breathing room temperature air. And even in an infrared sauna, which may be the next best type to this, 
you're going to be breathing air that's been heated up, even though that's not what's causing the benefits in the infrared sauna. It does heat the air while it's trying to heat you. So you're breathing air that's 50, 80 degrees above room temperature, whereas in this, it's just room temperature air. And it's so relaxing that for many people, they just finally relax and take a bit of a nap, which is, of course, greatly refreshing. Uh, the relaxation is being caused by a direct effect on the nerves, which is soothing, by resetting the autonomics, by bringing that fight-or-flight reaction back down. And it just generally feels great as humans to be warm and uh, cuddled, you know. We're all familiar with that. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're being cuddled without having the cuddling happen. Exactly. Yeah, another trade show story. Um, we actually have tons of people that fall asleep on the trade show floor while demoing the unit. So if someone can fall asleep at a trade show with 40,000 people walking around, that's a true testament to how relaxing the unit really is. Yeah, and in terms of being able to safely, physically lay flat like you would in bed, sure. You don't have to have a pillow to prop your head up or anything like that. Uh, there's not a big risk or there's no risk or danger here, really. So we're not going to have a problem with that. And, of course, there are many adjunctive types of pain therapies that can be used that act maybe in a somewhat similar but very different way. For example, if we try and use infrared light that's highly focused, we're going to be focused down on maybe a, a square inch of tissue, whereas this is affecting the entire body at one time, a very interesting and different way to use infrared. Very good. So now that we've covered infrared and all the wonderful benefits that it provides clients, we need to talk about a couple different ways we can enhance the results of infrared. So one of those ways is by pairing it with some amazing products. And one of the products that we offer here at the Body Wrap is called our Fit Booster. Fit Booster is a solution that's applied to the client prior to them entering the unit. It helps with things such as cellulite reduction, skin toning, skin tightening. So as you can see, the ingredients here a lot of them are pretty common in the spa world. Um, caffeine, reducing wrinkles, um, moving away cellulite. We have the gerberum root extract that's really good for poor circulation. The third one I'm not even going to try to pronounce. We call it DH. Um, it's great for moisturizing the skin and improving the appearance of wrinkles by stimulating collagen production. So that's a really big one. We also use the T-hydroiodine, which stim stimulates the metabolism and eliminates excess fluids in the body, so it just tightens everything up. And then Essence, known as an anti-inflammatory, and also boosts circulation. So by pairing infrared with a product such as this, you're really just enhancing the overall results and giving your clients even better benefits. Another product that we offer is the Fit Coat. I have seen some questions regarding this. The Fit Coat is a disposable, it's pretty much a jumpsuit that the client wears while they're in the unit. It's made out of two different materials. The outside's made out of a polypropylene, which is a non-porous material that's designed to um, make the client sweat even more. It also helps, with, helps capture the sweat. And then the inside is made out of a polyethylene, and that's a soft mesh material. And this our fit coat was designed with purpose. Um, one of our owners, who's the engineer, helped design this and picked these materials because, for instance, the inside the mesh material um, actually absorbs some of that product, some of that fit booster, which keeps it on the client and helps deliver those benefits throughout the entire session so that the fit booster is not just dripping off them when they're sweating. So the fit coat was designed also with the soft mesh inside and the non-porous on the outside to provide the best customer experience. The mesh is designed so it doesn't stick to the customer when the customer is wet. So it's not like they're just sitting in a big plastic bag. It's a very comfortable um, uh, piece of material that they're wearing so they're not getting poked by plastic or anything like that. It's very, very comfortable. So now that we've covered infrared, what it does, and then great products that you can pair it with, the question needs to be answered, why is this relevant to your clients? So the first thing is that your clients want this service. They come to you 
to get services done. They come to you for massage, for facials. But what they're really coming to you for is to soothe their muscles with massage, to improve their skin tone with facials, and overall to just feel better. And by offering infrared, such as with the body wrap, you're providing all of those benefits in one unit. And it does it extremely well, too. Um, your clients need this service. They come to you for help. Um, they need help relieving stress, relieving pain, and improving their overall health. Um, so by offering infrared, you get to um, you get to fulfill that need for them by offering a service that provides so many benefits in one one unit, and it does it in a very convenient and healthy and comfortable way. And lastly, your clients deserve this service. When they come to you, they're expecting certain things. They're expecting a comfortable service. They're expecting to be relaxed. They're expecting to be taken care of. And the body wrap gives the best benefit, plus it gives all of those above it. It's extremely comfortable. It's relaxing. And it allows you to take care of them. Whether you do an attended service or you um, an unattended service, you're still taking care of all of those needs for them. Now we know why it's crucial for your client, it's really important to cover why this is crucial for your business. So the first thing is relevance. This um, infrared is a great service uh, because it offers so many benefits, and it's offering the benefits similar to the services you're currently doing, such as massage, facial, facial detox, and body treatments. You're detoxifying, um, you're exfoliating, you are helping them lose weight, and you're soothing their sore muscles. So it allows you to treat all of those, um, those issues in one unit. And then it's also very simple to use. You have everything that you already need to, to use the equipment. It just runs off 110. Um, and you just need a table and a room to put it in. So it's very simple. When I actually started with the company, I set up a unit, and I didn't read an instruction manual. I just wanted to see if I could do it all by myself. And it is. It's extremely easy to put together and can be done in just a couple minutes. It's not a complicated service. And you don't even need to be licensed to administer it because it can be administered by the actual client. So, again, very, very simple. Cleanup is extremely quick and easy. So really, from start to finish, this product is very, very simple. And then versatility. There, we're going to cover this in the next slide, but there are different ways that you can package and sell in thread sessions. Um, there, you can do it attended or unattended. So no matter what type of environment you provide your clients, whether it's um, they can go into a room and do a service by themselves, or whether you have a more hands-on approach, this unit can be delivered in either setting. So it really, really works around you. You don't have to work around it. And then profitability. This is a really big opportunity. There's very little cost, um, and it takes very little resources and little to no labor um, to run the equipment. It also provides amazing cross-sell opportunities. The, most spas offer products that help with cellulite reduction and skin toning and skin tightening and things like that. So there's a great opportunity to offer follow-up products that after you've sold infrared sessions, you can then cross-sell your other products that you already offer with the service. Let's talk a little bit more about revenue. As I said, there's two different ways that we can sell sessions. One is an unattended model, and one is an attended model. And let me give you some pricing here. This would be on an unattended session. So these are some average prices that we've seen um, that our certified providers have used and done successfully. Um, so the unattended version would be if you just showed the client to the room, explained the products, the fit coat and the fit booster, and then you explained how to use the equipment, which is there's three buttons, it's very simple, and then you let them just relax for the hour and let them control everything on their own. 
This is a great service to offer people who might have body image issues if they don't feel comfortable um, undressing or being undressed in front of others. I know, for instance, um, I have I know people that don't want to get massages because they don't feel comfortable being undressed. So this is a service you can provide to those people, and they can do it all by themselves and still get the amazing results. It's also really great to do unattended. If you say, for instance, you're booked with facials or massage, um, but you still have a room where you can generate income without having to dedicate any of your time to it. So it can make you some great money and doesn't have to take up any of your time. It's like having an extra set of hands. It just allows you to offer amazing benefits without having to go in there and do it yourself. So with the unattended, you're going to charge a little bit less. Um, but since there's such little cost involved, it's really all revenue that you're making. So um, it allows you to dedicate your time elsewhere. You'll bring in a little bit more, but overall you're still making a lot of money because there's, again, little, little cost. So then the attended side of things, um, this is really good for the client that likes to be pampered. They, you can go in and have their room set up to where you apply the product to the client, you help them get into the fit coat, um, and you can go in and you can do small services while they're in there. Uh, you can do mini facials, you can do facial waxing, anything like that. Um, you would bring the client water, check in on them, you could do a small facial mas massage or scalp massage. And this can be offered a la carte or you could just have a package that included a fit body wrap with a mini facial or what have you. So there's a lot of versatility there with the attended services. Um, a lot of room, wiggle room where you can take things off. You can really customize a package that fits the client, um, the client's needs. So for the attended service, you're going to charge a lot more because you're obviously dedicating your time um, plus other services along with a fit body wrap. So. Um, you could off it just really depends on what your pricing menu currently is. But for instance, I have clients that will charge uh, over a hundred dollars for a fit body wrap that's attended. So they go in and they apply the fit booster to the client um, with a small massage, and then the client gets into the fit coat, gets in, um, and then the attendant checks in on them throughout the entire the entire process. But the good thing about the attendant service is it doesn't have to be done by someone who's licensed. Obviously, if you're doing massage and all that, it would be. But for instance, you could have, um, if you have an assistant, they could go in and check in on the client and bring them water and things like that throughout the session. And that doesn't take up your time. And it, um, it's, again, doesn't have to be done by someone who's licensed. So with the attended, there's a lot of room for a lot of income, but you would dedicate your time. So. It's, again, just really versatile. You can have um, any type of service that you want to provide along with it, a la carte, is great. So it can make a lot of money there. This is probably the quickest slide we'll go over because there really is, isn't much involved. Um, there is very, very little cost to operate. Um, the only real cost that you have is the fit coat, which is about $2, and then electricity, which is less than 10 cents. We just did a test here last week, um, and it actually in San Diego was a little less than 5 cents for the full hour. And again, that's just because it runs off 110, so you're not using a lot of electricity. So very little cost to operate, so you're pretty much all revenue with that. So in summary, you can see that it's extremely inexpensive to run the body wrap, but it gives you the ability to offer amazing wellness benefits. And these are benefits that your customers want and need, all while offering these outstanding benefits. It's going to make you the profit that you deserve. So there's all my contact information on the screen. Um, we're going to answer some of your questions, but if any of you have questions you want to reach out to me personally, please feel free. There's my email and my phone. I'll be here all day. You can just give me a call and we'll go over whatever you need. So let's get to some questions here. Dr. Flickson, I might have you answer some of these. Right. I if you're still there. Okay. Quite a few. I saw one in here earlier about the difference between a 
sauna and an infrared body wrap. So, Dr. Hussein, do you want to answer that one while I look for another question? Right. So with the sauna, we're sitting at some distance from the heaters, and we're relying on the infrared to reach us. Um, basically, whenever a, a light bulb shines light, the light gets dimmer the further away you go, and it decreases with the square of the distance. So it's not just the distance. It's the distance multiplied by the distance, which means that some of the infrared that's coming out in an infrared sauna is heating air between you and it, it's getting diminished between you and the emitter or the heater, and then you receive a much less infrared during that same time frame than being wrapped in an infrared sandwich where there's virtually no gap more than a few inches between you and the infrared source. So that's one distance difference between the fit body wrap and an infrared sauna. This is by far a more comfortable and pleasant experience. We talked about breathing the room temperature air. And for many people, the experience of just being completely sweaty all over all the time isn't that much fun, whereas laying in the sweat body coat, the, the coat actually sucking up the sweat and then holding it, um, retaining it so it doesn't go all over once you get out, is uh, it's a very big improvement, I think, over working with the, the hot air sauna. There was also a question I saw about can you be safely in here if you have metal joint replacements. Since metal reflects and doesn't absorb infrared, then it's generally considered not a problem. We do ask people to consult with their surgeon, just make sure that there's nothing that the surgeon knows about their particular implant. But in general, it's not considered a contraindication or a reason why a person cannot go into one of these units. Yeah, but to protect everyone involved, we do recommend that the client would consult with a physician. And that's one of the things is we actually provide um, waivers for you. So all of the contraindications are listed on the waiver so that the client can have their physician sign um, if they did check one of the boxes for the contraindications. Oh, there was also a question if we had some published independent research on results. And, of course, we haven't done university trials on this exact unit, so we have to rely on the research that was published in less efficient units that wouldn't work as well as this. But in that case, there's a whole lot of research, and Schuyler has uh, several white papers that, we, uh, that I've published for Fit Body Wrap that you can get your hands on just by asking her, and then you can look at the research and see if it's sufficiently convincing for you. Exactly. So one of the questions that I also see is if training is provided. And here at the Body Rep, we pride ourselves on customer service and making sure that our clients are successful with our unit. So we do provide a sufficient amount of training. We actually do two training calls, which are completely customized for each location. So we pull up demographics on where the spa or salon is located. We see if there's competitors in the area. And then we craft a training around that. Um, and then we also do a sales call with the staff in the location. So we talk about uh, how to talk about the service, how to cross-sell it, um, different quick pitches that they can use while they're talking or checking clients in for other services. So there is an extensive amount of training available, and that's all free for our certified providers. Um, and that's on an initial basis and an ongoing basis. Good, good. I see there's a question up about whether this is uh, a freestanding unit put in a treatment room, which it is, and there isn't any actual wrapping of the body like with some of the earlier wraps, which is one of the reasons this particular unit was created because that is so labor intensive. And with this unit, it becomes completely unnecessary. You just climb into your fit body suit after you've sprayed yourself down. If you choose to use the spray, most of the clients will. Uh, and then they're in the suit, and then they're in the unit, and that's it. And uh, when they come out, they just take off the suit, which has almost all the sweat in it, and someone comes along and tells off a little bit that that suit didn't catch before the next client is put into the unit. Exactly, yeah. And I see a question in here about if the client needs to shower afterwards. No wet room is required by any means. Um, we have clients that will do sessions and then go out for the rest of the night. You're, you're, um, the sweat you're producing isn't um, doesn't really have an odor to it, and the Fit Booster really helps with that. So a lot of the 
uh, the locations will have like um, wipes in the room or something for the person to um, wipe off with. But besides that, a towel and they're they're good to go. They they don't need a wet room. Here. Are there state regulations or restrictions that need to be followed? Uh, nothing that I've heard about restricts anyone from using a heating pad, for example. So think of this as a heating pad on steroids that's commercially adapted so it can absorb any sweat. It, it's completely repellent to that. You might also uh, want to check if you're in the market for one of these and you're looking around at one, this unit is impervious to sweat. It will not get ruined by someone sweating in it. There are other units out there that look similar to this, and they just soak up your sweat, So, and they don't have a suit. So after the first person uses that once, it's got their sweat all over inside it. And uh, this unit is the uh, antithesis of that. There's no problem with that. Exactly. So, and then I see a question here about um, the session length. So what we usually recommend for like the detoxification, skin rejuvenation, weight loss, those benefits, you are going to want the client to do a one-hour session. However, if they're doing pain relief, we've seen people have great results after a 30-minute session. So it really just depends on why they're coming into you. Um, prior to a massage, they could do a 30-minute session just to warm the body up um, and get it more relaxed and the muscles um, a little bit warmer to be able to be worked. But Typically, for the detox and those benefits, you're going to want to do a one-hour session. Uh, I also see a question about, is it a full-body service, or can specific areas be targeted? So the unit actually has four different treatment sections. So you have the arm treatment pads, which obviously treat just the arm, and then the blanket is broken down into three different zones. So you have the chest area, which is zone two. You have your midsection, which is zone three. And you have pretty much from your knees down to your feet, which is zone four. So each one of these zones can be controlled degree by degree. So, for instance, if I wanted my midsection to be um, at a higher temperature, I can put that at 129, and I could put my feet down at 122 if that's and you just want to make sure that the customer is extremely comfortable throughout the service. So that's why the controller is extremely easy to use. You can just scroll through each of the four zones and adjust the temperature up or down degree by degree. So really customizable, and it will make sure the customer is completely happy throughout the entire service. And we do have, uh, there's a question here about if we have before and after photos uh, available to show the results. And I do have some of those that I can provide. Um, there a, lot, a lot of them actually are on um, some of our certified provider websites, but I can refer you to those so you can see and see the results for yourself. That's a great question. Question on heart pacemakers. It doesn't appear to be any contraindication for that. It's somewhat similar to saying, could you go into a hot air sauna? Could you go out on a really hot day? Could you go play tennis when you really get overheated? And the answer to those things is, sure, you could with a pacemaker in there. So, yeah, you could you can get, quote, overheated. I mean, essentially, we're safely overheating you so that you sweat like crazy and get a lot of wonderful things to happen. But we're not going to push you so hard that you're going to run into a cardiovascular emergency uh, it's a very, very gentle cardiovascular push at most, and the unit, the, the pacemaker itself, shouldn't be affected by this type of radiation. But again, we would recommend that they just consult their physician because we're not here to diagnose or treat anyone. So we just yeah, you sure always want to check with your physician just to make yeah. you guys are not the ones that want to be making pronouncements. Um, but you do have the uh, the sheet that people will be filling out, and if they have that, that'll be one of the things that they're going to have to go. To chat with their physician about or just say, I don't care. You know, I don't think it's a problem and I'm not concerned. Exactly. Very good. And that's why those waivers are essential when having service. And the heat in this unit is coming from both the pad underneath you and the pad on top of you. Imagine you're just climbing in a sleeping bag that zippers around you, this Velcro is around you, but basically all of it emits heat. So the top, the bottom, and Anything that's got reflective surface on the inside is emitting heat toward you, the whole thing. Exactly. 
Uh, I have a question here regarding the heat range available for selecting. So the system will go below the body's temperature, but you um, it's going to preset to 110 to 130 or to 120. So, um, but the client can go as far as 130. So you just want to make sure that when you're offering the service that you're making the client aware that uh, it can go up or down. So if they, for instance, don't feel hot enough in one zone, then they can go and turn that zone up. Or if they feel too warm in one zone, then they can go turn it down. So. And if you are seeing the slides, you'll notice that the control unit is mounted right beside the client so that they have control of the heat in each section of the unit while they're in it. And that's a very useful way to set the units up so that they don't have any worries about that. Exactly. And then there's a question, does the heat come from both the top and the bottom? And it does. So both yeah. the portion of the rack laying on top of the client and on the bottom will both be heated as well as the arm pads. Um, there's a question about precautions for medications. I've not heard of any, but again, if you have a prescriber and you are under their care, call to their nurse or their office just to make sure or call to your pharmacist who filled the prescription would be great so that you don't have any worries about is there some possibility if I get really warm that I'm going to get in trouble. And that's essentially the question you want to ask because this is the equivalent of getting running a pretty high body temperature. If you took your body temperature while you're in the unit at the end of that hour, you might be running a, quote, 104 fever, so to speak, which is extremely safe and very good for you, by the way. And I see a question here is if the wrap is portable, and it can be is the answer. So the unit doesn't have to be mounted on the wall. A lot of people will put it on it like a table or a cart next to the unit. So if you wanted to wheel it from room to room, you just need to, I mean, the, the blanket in the arms weigh 18 pounds and the, the controller on the wall weighs nine. So it, if you don't mount it to the wall permanently, it could go on a cart and be moved room to room if you need it. And it comes with a cart, is that correct? The unit um, it does not come with a cart, no. Oh, okay. But no. it, it, yeah. All right. Yeah. How long does it last, Skylar? How many times can we reasonably expect this unit to hold up under spa use? Oh, geez. I have customers that have had the unit for over 10,000 hours, and they're still going strong. So um, we don't really have... I mean, a lot is <laughs> the answer. They can go but hard to wear it out so far, huh? But hard to yes, wear it exactly. out. And the replacement parts for costs for parts are not the same as investing in the unit to begin with. So if you manage somehow after 10,000 or more sessions to wear something out, you're not going to have to pay the whole price of the original unit to replace that one piece. Yeah, there's certain things on the controller that we can repair, definitely. And then uh, I see a question about how often can it be used. So I have providers that are booked solid seven days a week, and they're, they usually book an hour and 15 to an hour 30 minute session or out. So they're doing some of them um, 10 sessions a day, seven sessions a day, every day. So it's now let's talk about volume. a person that themselves. So I come in and I really liked my fit body wrap session. I want to know if I can come back this afternoon for another one. Um, I think that's going to depend on how the person responded to their first session. Were they lightheaded? Were they dizzy? Did they drink? And this is important. People need to drink water before they come to your spa for their session. They need to drink water during their session and they need to drink water after their session. Assuming the person did adequately rehydrate and they really have to drink a lot, like, you know, maybe up to a gallon, depending on how much they sweated, then they would be fine with even a second session in that day. For persons who would experience dizziness or any form of distress, which I don't know that actually occurs, but if that were to occur, I've never seen it, uh, then you might be more cautious about that. 
yeah. if a person felt really out of breath and almost like they just worked out too hard because they were severely overweight, that person we're going to have to work our way slowly into multiple uses, certainly not multiple uses a day, but we might not put them on a three-time-a-week schedule right off. Yeah. If they were 400 pounds, for example, might put them on a once-a-week schedule and then move it up to a twice-a-week schedule and then move it up to three times a week yeah. and so, so forth. Every other day is good because of the pain relief will last 24 to 48 hours. If that was their primary motive, uh, they're going to want to come back in in about two days if they're able to. Yeah, general rule of thumb that most of our providers follow is they allow clients to use it every other day just so they don't have to, if you have a, um, uh, someone running the front desk who isn't fully versed with all of your clients and doesn't know all of their situations, to just create a general rule of every other day seems to be a pretty good um, rule of thumb. So, um, let's see here. Dr. Fuxin, do you want to answer this question on what if your cortisol levels are very low? Is the infrared? Yeah, this is a great question. So if your cortisol levels were low, would this drive them lower? No. Uh, if somebody's got really low cortisol levels, there's something else going on with that person. That's pretty abnormal. But is this going to push them further down? No. This just enables what's called the relaxation response, which all allows the body to normalize itself as opposed to a medication which pushes in one direction only. Uh, this is more like an adaptogen, which if you're too high, it lets you come down. If you're too low, it lets you go up. So we have time for one more question. So I see one here about the cleaning protocol, and I know this is important to go over when you are in especially a high-volume stall where you're seeing lots of clients every day. And the system is extremely easy to clean and maintain. There's actually three loops that are on the top portion of the, the body wrap itself. So you can hang, if you wanted um, to make it even easier, coat hanger hooks on the wall. So you can hang up the unit, and it just drapes. And then you just need to use a hospital-grade disinfectant. You spray it down, and then you just wipe it down with a towel. And as we covered earlier, it's a non-porous material, so none of that sweat's going to be absorbed. So you just clean it down, or spray it down and wipe it down, and the unit will be ready to go for the next person. So. But I think that's all the time that we have for today. I just want to thank everyone for coming and listening to our presentation on the power of infrared. Again, my contact information is right there, and if there's anything that I can answer for you, please feel free to reach out. Um, again, we appreciate it, and have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Flickstein. You're welcome. Be well, everyone. All right.